Hi, my name is Becky Logue, and I'm a dental hygienist, and I'm also the inventor of the Dental Rat. This is a quick instructional video to demonstrate how simple and easy the Dental Rat will run your software. So let's get started. I'd like to introduce you to Natalie. She's an experienced hygienist that's been using the dental rat regularly, and she's going to give you some quick ergonomic tips. Now, a hygienist can use either their right or left foot. I choose to use my left foot. I sit in a comfortable position and rest my leg bent at a 90-degree angle. I also rest my foot upon the dental rat. I make sure that I can see the computer screen so that I am able to go from screen to screen. Now let's show you how the dental rat works. At the top of my dental rat is the mouse. At the bottom of the dental rat is the left mouse click and heel rest. Across the middle, I have numbers 1 through 8. To activate 1 through 4, I press and release. 1, 2, 3, 4. To activate numbers 5 through 8, I press and hold down for more than one second. 5, 6, 7, and 8. For numbers higher than 8, we'll talk about that with your software. When you're first starting out, you might want the mouse a little bit slower. To slow down the mouse, press the left two buttons down and hold them there. And at the same time, press down on the joystick with your other foot. As you gain more experience, you'll probably want the mouse to go a little bit faster. To speed up the mouse, press the left two buttons down and then push up on the joystick with your other foot. Okay. This is the Dentrix Perio chart. You're now ready to begin Perio charting. Across the middle of your dental rat you have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. If you hold it down for a second you'll get 5, six, seven, and eight. Now if you have numbers higher than eight, there's a keyboard on your screen. Take your mouse over and put your mouse on the nine and then rock back with your heel and a nine will be entered. If you have numbers ten and above, go over to the one dash, rock with your heel, and it's looking for a second number to be entered. So if you have the ten, do the one dash, rock back with your heel, and then go to zero, rock back with your heel. A 10 will be entered. On your chart you can see it's a greater than sign because it can't enter a two digit number. Now your next, let's say your next uh, pocket is an 11 millimeter pocket. Go to one dash and then enter the one from your dental rat. If you have a 13, do the 1 dash and enter the 3 from your dental rat. Now you can mark bleeding at the same time by taking your mouse over to the B and rocking back with the bleeding. Rocking back while your mouse is on the bleeding. So you can quickly mark perio and bleeding points at the same time. Now if you have recession, just take your mouse down to gingival margin rock back and enter the millimeters of recession. Let's say on tooth number eight you have a 434 with two millimeters of recession and bleeding in the buckle. So you go four, three, four, and then I highlight the bleeding by putting the mouse on the bleeding and then I have the two millimeters of recession so I take the mouse down to the recession, gingival margin area, and enter the two. Now if you make a mistake, the easiest way to go back is to go up to previous button and go back to the tooth that you were on. Let's say tooth number six was a three, four, three. So go back and press three, four, three. And if you want to unmark the bleeding, just put your mouse on the bleeding icon and rock back with your heel. I want to show you a fast and easy way to update a perio chart. 
Now when you open the program up, the latest Perio chart will come up. And instead of inputting every number every single time, you can just change the pockets on the teeth that have changed. So let's say the pockets on teeth 2 through 7 have remained the same, but number 8 is now a 434. Four. Take your mouse over to number 8, rock back with your heel, and enter the new numbers, 4, 3, 4. Let's say 9 and 10 are the same, but number 11 is now a 4, 4, 2. So go to 11, rock back with your heel, and go 4, 4, 2. Do this throughout the mouth, and by just changing a few teeth, you've updated the whole perio chart. Now let's go to the x-rays and intraoral camera. I had previously minimized my x-rays and intraoral camera pictures and I can have it readily available just by using my mouse and my left mouse click which is also the heel rest. So to get the image that I want, if I wanted the bite wing, I take my mouse over to the image I want and then I rock back on my heel and activate the left mouse click and that image comes up. If I wanted to change screens, I take my mouse over to the other picture, rock back with my heel, and that image comes up. So I can go from screen to screen easily just by moving my mouse and rocking back with my heel. Now you know how to use the intraoral camera and the x-ray pictures with your dental rat. We want to thank you for your time and your interest in the dental rat. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact us.